If you need to scrape Facebook Marketplace data, I'll show you how to legally do so using only your web browser as you scroll through Facebook Marketplace listings without violating the Facebook Terms of Service. To get started, head to Facebook Marketplace and you don't even need to be logged in unless you want to and browse to any category or location you want. You can put in any of these filters. Use the website normally because we're just gonna be recording your web traffic. We don't have to do any automated interaction. That typically fails. Once you see the listings you want, right click and hit inspect. This opens up developer tools which will automatically begin recording your web traffic you'll see here. Now that we're recording, refresh this page so Facebook reloads the first set of results into our browser. And you can just close these annoying pop-ups. They're really desperate to get you to log in or give them your location. Now under the network tab in developer tools, if you type in GraphQL under the filter, you can see these API responses showing us the raw data for Facebook Marketplace they use to power the front end. It's extremely deeply nested, so you have to keep drilling through here until you find the listings, and you'll finally see something here like 1963 Chevrolet, and you can see the number of miles it has here. Delivery types, most of these cars are gonna be in person, but sometimes they do shipping. This ID is useful if you want to look up the listing on Facebook Marketplace for even more details. You get pricing here in a bunch of different formats for some reason. And if there's a video attached to the listing, you can get the URL to see that video. Here's some more information about the location of each listing. I can see the city and state. This here is information about the seller, showing them their full name, but I don't wanna show that on camera. And if they have photos, we can see the primary photo here. And again, it's an image URL. And if we search in the results, we can see the HTML version presented up here with all of the data I just showed you in JSON, but in user-friendly format. Now to get the rest of the listings, we simply scroll through the results and the Facebook API will send more data to our browser that we're recording. We're not violating the Facebook terms of service because we're just browsing the site normally if anybody asks. So I got through about 1500 results and it looks like I could keep going, but I think that's enough for this demo. To get this data out, go into the network tab and click this down arrow here called export HAR. That will save a HAR file containing the raw JSON data to your computer. To get the data out of the HAR file, check the link in the description for my no code Facebook API scraper featuring the HAR file web scraper. This will work with any HAR file, not just from Facebook Marketplace. Just drag and drop it into your browser and it will securely combine together similar API requests so you can download all of the data in one place. Look for this group here ending in GraphQL and check these fields. They should have things like listing and listing price. There may be a few groups ending in GraphQL. You'll also see a bunch of images for the cars. These were captured in the HAR file. They're not being dynamically loaded, so don't worry about that. Then down here, you can see the 65 individual API requests and responses containing all the data. Now using these blue links here, you can download that raw JSON data I showed you in your browser to your downloads folder, so you can get all this data in one folder in your computer to process it yourself. But if you just want a CSV file of all this combined data, scroll all the way up and click this parse group button here. And if you have a freemium account with us, you can download up to 10 rows of this data per day for free. Here I'm able to download all 1500 results we browsed through on Facebook Marketplace. And if I wanna see them on Facebook Marketplace, I copy this listing ID, and you wanna paste it into this URL format here, facebook.com slash marketplace slash item slash listing ID, and then paste in the listing ID here. Now you can open this URL up in your browser and see the official listing on Facebook Marketplace. This is this video that I showed earlier, and we can also see that first image is the primary image we saw in that JSON data. Other notable fields we'll get back are the title of the listing. That is custom title too, which is usually the same in most cases. A link to the primary photo for the listing, so you can load it in your browser here. Here's the price again in decimal form format, location city, and location state. If the listing has a video, you can see that URL here to the video file. If you do access this media for whatever reason, please do not republish it without consent. That's typically copyright violation. But you're probably fine if you just use this information for private research. You also see the seller's Facebook identifier and their name, which could be helpful, for example, if you're trying to crack down on people selling illegal things. Here's the number of miles, which is obviously only gonna be shown on cars. So based on what you browse, these fuels will be different. And we can see the shipping or pickup on site. It's mostly gonna be in person. And there are a few more fields here you may find helpful. For example, if a listing has more than one video, you can download that here as a separate collection and each row will come with a reference to its parent listing in the download file. And then these here are custom attributes. So this is showing mileage for cars, but if you're scraping phones, for example, it may show you storage capacity or other attributes based on the products you're browsing. So hope you guys found this useful. Let me know in the comments your feedback or what you're using this data for, or if there are other websites I can help show you how to scrape. And check out this next video here on scraping Mercari for similar marketplace data. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe for more.